The Johannesburg Stock Exchange is bleeding. Why are companies considering delisting from the JSE? Now in 1991, the Johannesburg Stock Exchange had 811 companies listed on the main board. It now has less than 300 companies listed on the main board. Companies are simply not getting the flows of investment that they expected when they listed on the JSC. They're beginning to feel that they might be better in a private domain, not having to report to the public, or even in other exchanges that are not in South Africa. This is very concerning because what this shows is that this government has been killing businesses for many years. Literally where businesses are leaving to list in other countries, even patriotic businesses are leaving because of the environment, load shedding, corruption, crime. The system is falling apart because of this wicked government. A lot of CEOs are weighing in. They're saying that a lot of companies want to leave because the GDP growth has been very slow. They're saying that the confidence levels in the leadership of the country have dwindled. They're saying that their evaluations are literally becoming zero because of the looting, the ESCOM crisis, the corruption, and the lawlessness. One that particularly touched me was Patrice Mutsipa's African Rainbow Capital Investments. A South African born who's considering delisting from Johannesburg Stock Exchange. They want to join the other companies that feel that value is not being realized on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange due to these issues. If we allow South African companies and companies to delist from our stock exchange, we are literally becoming a banana republic where business confidence is dwindling and people are going elsewhere. This is a very big risk to our economy. We need to get rid of these thugs that are in government and put in a right government that business can be confident about and that business wants to work together with. Every single day, we're waking up to horror stories of companies that are delisting, of companies that are deregistering, of small businesses that are closing down, of entrepreneurs that are giving up, of people losing their jobs because this government doesn't care about the economic growth of the nation. They don't care about the growth of businesses. They don't care about the sustainability of our economy. It becomes important for us to wake up and smell the coffee. This government has left the chat group and we need to take it upon ourselves in 2024 to vote for a right government that will instill business confidence, bring back essential industries and make sure that the Johannesburg Stock Exchange supersedes the 811 listed companies that it had in the 90s. That South Africa becomes a viable place for investment to happen. That our nation gets known all around the world for being friendly and open to business. Ensure that in 2024, we vote for Arise South Africa because Arise South Africa understands the business environment understands what the business needs and is willing to work with businesses to foster the right environment, to ensure that our economy grows and that our nation becomes prosperous. Vote Arise South Africa in 2024.